And joining me now is Tom Mulcair, CTV News political commentator and former NDP leader. Good to see you, Tom. Good to be with you, Renee. So Justin Trudeau has been given this deadline of Monday to decide on whether he'll step down. That's just a day away. What are you anticipating from the prime minister? I don't think that Trudeau's the type to respond to somebody else's deadline, but I am very much aware from people that I've been speaking with at the highest level of the Liberal Party that he is giving this serious thought. And there is an alternate plan afoot where they would use prorogation. And essentially, the House has been shut down by procedural maneuvers by the opposition parties led by the Conservatives. Nothing's moving forward. That gives Trudeau a bit of an out to use that technique. Prorogation is just suspending Parliament and you start afresh with a new throne speech, that sort of thing. And it would give the party and him time to think about where the, this is going. He has, people have to understand, a political leader like Trudeau has no choice but to say he's stay, staying around. That's not surprising. I'll give you an example from this week. Montreal's mayor, Valerie Plante, entering her eighth year of office, has been in interviews nonstop, and she always gets the question, are you running again? And despite the fact that there was a majority in the population that didn't want her to run again, every single answer was, of course I'm running again. We're doing a great job, et cetera. This week, out of the blue, for some people, she said she's not running. I wasn't surprised at all because I knew that she had no choice but to say she was going to stay in office. And that's the same thing with Justin Trudeau. He's, he's starting his 10th year in office uh, in, in just a few days. And he knows that there's a best before date for everyone in politics. He's also relatively young. He's in his early 50s. He's still got another full career ahead of him doing other stuff that he might like to do and probably make a heck of a lot more money and have more of a life uh, than you have in politics. But he's not going to say anything different than what he's been saying, that he's sticking around, everything's going great. He knows he's facing trouble with his caucus. He knows he's facing trouble with the executive of his party. And he knows that there are able people waiting in the wings not just good people in his cabinet, but, you know, people like Christy Clark, former B.C. Premier, uh, Mark Carney. Th those are t top names that would be able to perhaps change things for the Liberals, because right now the resistance that they're getting, Renee, is against Trudeau personally. And their numbers are tanking because of Trudeau personally. Is that fair or not? Another question. It's a reality, and he knows it, and he's going to have to act on it. Mm. Now, these MPs are apparently threatening consequences if Trudeau stays on. What could be on the table? Well, what could be on the table is them being more open about it. We know that a couple of dozen people have signed this letter asking him to step aside. You might start hearing there's some people in the party who are rumored or tipped to have been starting to tell Trudeau, I know at least one who has been telling Trudeau, look, it's time to regard this as your legacy mandate. It's time to, to move along. And of course, he's saying that he's not going to be doing that even to them. But there, there will come a time where there'll be a critical mass of resistance, Renee, both amongst the people who run the party, the grassroots organizers, riding association presidents and the like, and of course, the people in his own caucus. So there will come a time where he's going to have to reckon with that. Is he painting himself into more and more of a corner? It depends on his explanation when he decides to change his mind. Plant had a very simple, fresh explanation. She said, I don't have the energy uh, to do another term of office and, and I'm leaving, you know, despite the fact that up until now she had always been saying the same thing as Trudeau. Will Trudeau have something a little bit better? Will he be going on to another job that we don't know about? Perhaps. But he's paid a heavy personal price uh, for his political career. Some say that he doesn't have anything else to do because all he really knows is politics. I think that's a bit short. I, I think the guy's got talent and ability and uh, we'll find out what, what his future plans are. If he does decide to stick around, it will, of course, be, uh, it's a tough term, but a bloodbath for the Liberals in the next election. Well, Monday should be interesting. That is our time. We'll have to leave it there. Tom, thank you for being here. Good to be with you, Renee.